Big one of Astora. There's my wave. And welcome back to my blind playthrough of Bloodborne the Old Hunters. Uh, and yeah, so rather than proceeding from the garden, oh, I can't remember what it's called, where we beat the previous boss, uh, I remembered that while editing together the footage that, yeah, we hadn't gone down here yet, where uh, someone said in the chat yesterday where there was a dance party. What's up, Sayin? How are you, friend? Long time no see. I got the old hunters. The whole new zone is like a maze. I like it a lot. I, I love everything about the expansion so far. So we're going to go check out this dance party that someone was... I think it was Richard yesterday who said it's really great how... It was either Richard or the Memetin, I think, who said it's really great how they incorporated the dance contest into the, <laughs> into the game. Aegon, did you watch your own playback from the fight with the black and white... Uh, church hunter, uh, yes, and how you can hear one of them praying, right? Uh, like, you can hear it in the background. Uh, I am going to need to, yeah, yeah, that, uh, I will need to go back there and record it again, but directly using my capture card because the, the audio quality is so poor from the streaming. The same, uh, <laughs> seek the old blood? Wow, okay, cool. But yeah, that's, uh, you'll notice if uh, you check out my YouTube channel that the first three episodes are actually already up. Bloodstone Chunk's beautiful. Okay, so I need two more. Um, and yeah, I did a fair bit of work on the dialogue and cut out the breaks and stuff like that. So I'm still, still uh, putting those together. Right now, the fourth episode is, hello, Demon Parachute. I've posted up to the fourth episode, and I have the fifth episode rendering, or the third episode and the fourth episode is rendering. Hi, friend. Get wrecked by the Holy Moonlight Blade. Ha. And yeah, so I think I did a decent job of cleaning up the audio, but it's still not going to be perfect. So when we come here for Let's Talk Lore, yeah, definitely going to spend a bit of time trying to get the audio just right for that. How come sometimes these guys attack the enemies, but sometimes they don't? Can't change video quality yet. Yeah, I, I think you need to wait until you need to wait until a few more people tune in. Otherwise it deems me, I guess, unworthy of the the uh, quality options. Yeah, the, the projectile doesn't really do all that much damage, though. Get out of here, stupid crow. Go dizzy. Don't have time for your shenanigans, okay? Yeah, that was pretty cool. 700 damage there somehow, let's see. Oh. Gosh, that thing. That jumping attack, though. Hello, the Mammotin. Can someone whisper me here? Thank you, Sayin, for making that request. That is very considerate. Asking for the whisper. Oh, I thought that was going to be a crazy item. Oh, gosh. I saw the river of blood and the mosquitoes, and I said, nope. <laughs> you mean the blood lickers? What did we pick up the vermin for there? Did that drop from the hunter NPC? No. Or did it? Oh, it might have, because the, I believe the corpse actually disappears. Weird. Whoa. Whoa. What the? It's a shell? And that's a woman who is that looks like hopefully Andrew you'll be able to soon 
Uh, generally, it, I don't think it gives it to you until there a the resources are available and b like you have over 20 viewers or something like that. Uh, so this reminds me a lot of the enemies in the swamp at the at the Nightmare Frontier. The one the ones that uh, Richard or Just on Frontier in his video on the Nightmare Frontier showed how on their underside there were like messengers there. <sighs> this Moonlight Sword you just started so I'm assuming you got it really early? Not really early. Uh, we went through uh, the assessment in the chat yesterday was that I had been, I'm already through about two thirds of it. So, but you can get it I think about halfway through. It looks like a giant messenger, yeah. But like you can see that it's actually someone who was recently human and it like it was like someone threw it down on us or fell from somewhere that is so weird oh the shortcut whirligig whirligig saw whirligig whirligig saw oh so this isn't a shortcut then I thought it was a shortcut so that's the pizza cutter then a trick weapon crafted by the workshop heretics, the powder kegs, and a weapon of choice for the old hunter Valter, the beast eater. This weapon pummels beasts in its mace form, but its true strength lies in its attached mechanical saws. These discs, lined with serrated teeth, spin rapidly, thrashing the flesh of beasts into fine shreds. <sighs> Weird. That's weird, but let's see. So, so I guess you can't do the move that Vulture does, where he like holds it and walks up. The river of blood with the blood liquors is worth going to again. There's two other weapons in the cave, Brent. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to go over the area with a finer tooth comb once we're done. I'm not just going to finish it and then leave. Hold L2 and transform. Uh, thank you, the mountain. Oh. <laughs> okay, and it slowly drains your, your endurance. So, let's see how long it lasts. That's pretty cool. So, in terms of durability, we didn't use any durability, although we haven't been actually hitting anything. So, hold on, let's see the transform attack. So, that one move also makes it basically like the, uh, uh, the what's it called? Uh, the Wheel of Logarius, or Logarius' wheel. Your character looks like a Victorian Gumby. <laughs> <laughs> I said yesterday he looks like Shrek's like noble uncle from a couple of generations prior. <laughs> but that uh, the Gumby thing is not not a connection that I made. I miss Gumby. Gumby was awesome. Remember the blockheads too? Uh, so such a weird show because it wasn't even a cartoon. Victorian Gumby. Alright, um, I guess that's it. We probably could have gone down there and not had to worry about anything, but... Let me make sure I'm not missing anything else. Dead end. Uh, or, or I dropped down here, didn't I? I dropped down. Like a silly person. What was so funny? Gumby, the blockheads? a uh, follow notification where the thank you carving plays after someone follows but but yeah my computer's not powerful enough to stream on uh, to stream anything uh, at a decent frame rate so have to do with the manual sub notifications in which or uh, follow notifications in which, in which case I'll just say 
Thank you. Not very good, but but yeah. So yeah, you know, they usually yeah yeah. You need you need chalice dungeons for a lot of things. I, I love the chalice dungeons. I hated it at first, but I've actually I I think I yeah slowly fallen in love with the chalice dungeons. So these are definitely sunflowers, right? Which makes sense because uh, even though you can't see it here, can you? Uh, because this the sun is actually shining here as opposed to the moon. And it's right here. So that is a really cool little touch that I didn't even think of yesterday. And half of the city is submerged in water. So there's that. Inverse sunflowers. Is that actually a thing or are you just coining that? Or did you just coin that? Though I'm sad they didn't use actual moonflowers. My level is, uh, my character is level 120, Azure End. Pretty, uh, basically like every other build I do for playthroughs uh, that I'm recording, it's, it's a quality build. Just because quality builds are the easiest in terms of allowing us to do a number of things. So is that, that's the other cathedral, right? Or is it this one here? Just coining. Uh, well, but it doesn't say lumen flower gardens. It says something else, gardens. And they don't look anything like the, the lumen flowers, but they seem to function the same. All right, let's move on. Astral clock tower key. We didn't look at the description for that, so let's do that. Or yes, we did actually. So this looks like it's going to be a boss fight, and I will say, unfortunately, that when refreshing my YouTube subscription feed today, someone posted a video with, uh, posted videos to two boss fights with the names in the videos, so I know what the, the other two bosses are called, unfortunately, but beyond that, I don't know much else. I'm assuming that this is Lady Maria, was it? This is crazy. Okay, so another screenshot moment. I hope you'll forgive me all, all of you for one second. Well, take a screenshot. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Oh, why don't I have fire paper? I don't need fire paper. That's some pretty sick hunter gear though. That's what I thought too, Azurend. I, I, I think we might be meeting a boss or going into or warping to another nightmare when we inspect the course the, the corpse, but is that that's not a goblet of blood, is it? Well it has blood all over it, and I can't tell this looks like a picture frame that's been smashed.
maybe a little bit. But she's definitely human. Yeah, sunflowers there. And sunflower petals all over the place, it looks like. Alright. A corpse should be left well alone. <laughs> Secrets beckon so sweetly. Only an honest death will cure you now. Liberate you from your wild curiosity. That was pretty cool. Uh, I like how a super dramatic moment was ruined by the the ghastliness of my character. And she is using quickening. Could this be Garman's apprentice? This could be Garman's apprentice. And like Garman, it doesn't seem to be an artificial quickening. Like, she's not using the bone. It's just inherent to who she is. Wow. She's just, uh, she's just using it. Whereas the, the Bloody Crow of Canehurst, Bloody Crow needs to, you actually see the Bloody Crow using quickening. Using the, the old hunter's bone. If not, yeah. Uh, that's precisely what I was trying to articulate, uh, Azura. <laughs> so well put. Okay, Theomini, thank you. Uh, did... Was that, uh, Seppuku? That looked like Seppuku. The that game hard hardcore uprising that I've been playing. It's basically like a contra game. The final boss in that in that game powers up in that exact same way. Sudoku, yeah. They seemingly commit seppuku, but power up at the same time. I, I was thinking the same thing I was hoping and her gear first and foremost uh, yeah pretty cool reminds me a lot of the Garman fight but also uh, Sir Alon as well reminds me a lot of Sir Alon obvious parallels. And and the way like it looks like it's also a twin blade as well in addition to being a katana. quickening which is really cool 
Hello, Dom... Dom Guima. How are you, friend? This is a pretty awesome boss, I must say. If you can stop her from doing that, if you're quick enough. Shit. Transform attack. I gotta not use that when she's in sec her second phase. That is bad news, bears. I also probably don't want to try and cha trade with her. Trying to trade with her anyway. Much harder to stack her when she's in this phase. She's got three phases then. No more blood files. Barbara, she levitates into the air. If you're still here, Witcher Andrew, sorry about your problems with Twitch. I wish there was something I could do. Um, hmm. Even though we're doing less damage, we might be better off using the saw spear. Because I'm, I'm pretty good with the saw spear and saw cleaver. Not so much with this weapon just yet. So let's try that and see how or whether that works. Also probably want to try bone marrow ash. And I think that's it. Oh, by the way, um, Adela killed Ariana, even though I only got the one blood vial from Ariana. Don't know what triggered it, but I went to the uh, Cathedral Ward and Ariana was dead. Just killed over there. So pretty, uh, pretty messed up. But I got footage of what happened. Can't handle that source quality here. Yeah, source quality, 720p is really low quality. Uh, good night, Dom Guima. Uh, I will be uploading the full playthrough, uh, edited and with enhanced sound, to my YouTube channel, so you can check it out then. Match your speed, try dodging to her left. I certainly have to try and match her speed a little bit better, that's for sure. I like how badass she is, just slowly walks towards you, like, yep, you're dead. Okay. I should probably 
get my blood bullets ready before I go into the boss room. That would be a good idea. clock part looks pretty awesome through the nightmare fog. No, oh, I didn't get my blood bolts ready again. Fuck. <laughs> okay, we're all set now. Or not. Well, thank you very much. Uh, it's very kind of you to uh, say that, Doctor Space, and thank you for explaining the reference. I never, I never found occasion to get into Devil May Cry, but it does look like a pretty cool series. As I understand it, it started the first one was supposed to be a Resident Evil game, so at least I know that much. So it's got kind of a cool history. from, like, a while back on Machinima, they had, on YouTube, they had that uh, series called All Your History. Such good, such, like, really well done. And then one year they switched, uh, like, the normal guy, the previous guy got canned, and then they switched to, like, a format that was basically just to advertise for upcoming games, like, history behind games that have sequels or prequels coming out. And I was like, that was never the point of the show originally and what made it good. And then yeah, surely enough, it got cancelled like a month later. And that was kind of sad. I'm, maybe I should focus on the boss fight instead of trying to demonstrate how smart I am. <laughs> demonstrate that I'm not terrible at this game. Oh, that was bad time to prepare the ones. I'll run into that again. It has pretty good tracking too, though. Powering up again. I have to look at the achievement. Sorry that uh, you will have to look at blank screen for a second. It says, defeat Lady Maria of the Astral, Astral Clock Tower. That's pretty much it. Thank you, everyone. Uh, <laughs> that was pretty interesting. That was a 
really, really cool boss fight. Rip Maria, one of the, yeah, a boss that certainly deserves respect. Celestial Dial. The Celestial Dial that functions with the giant astral clock in the Grand Cathedral. When the dial is held up towards the astral clock, the clock will come to life and reveal a secret to its curious inter inter eh, interloper. I was hoping that it would be her armor or something. We are going to go back to the Hunter's Dream real quick because we only got one blood vial. Yeah, I probably should have done that, Jurassic Hunter. Uh, okay, insight. So we need 11 insight. We can do that. Maria Hunter Cap. Among the first hunters, all students of Gehrman, was the Lady Hunter Maria. I said it as soon as she used the, uh, or as soon as she used quickening. This was her hunter's cap, crafted in Canehurst. Maria is distantly related to the undead queen, Yarnum, but had great admiration for Gehrman, Gehrman unaware of his curious mania. So, whomever mentioned when we first met her that she looks a lot like the doll. Uh, seems almost as though the doll's modeled after her. And this was something... Oh, who was it that said this? I don't recall who said it. Someone in, in uh, one of the comments on Let's, Let's Talk Lore, because uh, I don't want to misattribute it, said that the doll looks like she could be half Thumerian. And, uh, yes, Richard, I, I did, and I'm pretty... Do I have a knight's cap from Kanehurst? Um, no, but we can look at it here. Or we can buy it, at least. Very similar design, uh, other than the fact that one's metal. Oh, touche. Oh, duh. Okay, never mind. But uh, but then the, the other connection was, thank you, the Memetim, for the correction. The, the connection I was thinking of there also uh, is... Oh, I'm getting all of my, my theories mixed up right now because I'm so confused. So, Richard, correct me if it was you who said this, because uh, I don't remember who it was, but that, and I think it might have been Richard, that uh, Annalise could be very well be half, half Thumerian. If Maria's equipment is from Kanehurst, as I said, she's probably related to Annalise, not Yarnum, yeah. But she would still have some Thumerian in her. Among the first hunters... And you can really see kind of the, the similarity in the design. Um, among the first hunters, all students of Garman, was the Lady Hunter Maria. This was her hunter's garb crafted in Canehurst. Oh, it's so, like, ah. Oh, that's so fucking cool. And it's, oh. <laughs> Okay, even though we're kind of besmirching it with uh, this build. Okay, we'll keep keep the surgical long clothes on. Um, but yeah. Uh, 
And we'll keep the pants. The white church trousers. Or maybe the choir trousers. Not sure if the male one is the same. You mean uh, for her outfit? That looks pretty cool. Oh, this DLC. Um, but no weapon, eh? No. That's okay. Uh, I have I got the doll set and sold it. Early game when I need Echo sometimes I'm short-sighted <laughs> about certain things. Uh, Alright, that's pretty cool. I think before we move on we'll take a quick five minute break. Fashion porn at its finest, well especially with this fine looking fella. Unrelated but for Marvel fans the first trailer of Captain America Civil War just dropped. Jurassic Country, I don't know if I thanked you, but thank you for the follow friend. And welcome to the Rant King Covenant. I'm sorry if I already thanked you and I'm thanking you again, but... Uh, yeah, we are going to do a five-minute break. Uh, we I do need to decide, sorry for that coming out of there just like that. Uh, I think we're going to... I'll leave you with a song, the main stage theme from the pinball game TurboGrafx-16 called Devil's Crush, which I learned about from watching GameSack. Joe Redifer has awesome taste in retro music. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I'll be back in five minutes. Uh, have a great day at work, uh, DFH. So yeah, be right back.